Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in this tutorial video we're going to be doing a continuation of a previous tutorial series actually my first tutorial series on YouTube called jQuery Image Carousel Slider so um, basically the, what we're going to do in this tutorial video is I'm going to reply to a request that I had a few days back I think on, um, on a request that says that they want this slider to automatically slide on its own so instead of clicking that next image um, link here automatically when a slider loads it goes to the next one and the next one on its own okay but the code for this is not actually that complicated and uh, let's just write that out quickly so what we have to do is this is if you look at the event handler for the next link click this is all the code that handles that click so we're going to copy all the code except this last line here and encapsulate that inside a function let's just create a function and call it next link clicked okay so inside that function we'll just paste this code here and in this anonymous function for the event handler now we're going to call this next link clicked here so we call it and then we just prevent default just to make sure that um, it doesn't do the default operation and then at the bottom here now let's just um, write a timeout set interval there so the set interval accepts the first parameter as a function and we're going to just pass in next link click and then the next one is a number of milliseconds amounting to seconds so let's say we want it to run every two seconds we have to pass in 2000 milliseconds okay let's go back in our browser and refresh and every two seconds that should be running yes so every two seconds that goes ahead and runs so just one thing let's just recap what we did so all we did was just remove all the code in here and encapsulate it inside a function so we can reuse that function in a lot of different places not just in the click handler for the next link so if you wanted to use the function somewhere else you can easily use it instead of having to copy and paste that code okay so that's it guys for this tutorial video um that was the intention of it if it was meant to be short and if you have any other requests um i'll try and do it as quickly as possible so thanks for watching guys i hope this was useful so if you liked it please comment and subscribe using the boxes below so thanks for watching bye bye